It's a rude boy town. Kingston town, it's a Kingston town, it's a rude boy town, it's a rude boy town. Rest in peace, Mr. Selene. Rest in peace, Pops. You know, we um, appreciate all the hard work you did. You know what I mean? Getting the children off the streets, keeping us from uh, being out there gang banging, and you know, showing us that it was a better and a positive way to make. Better in a positive way to make to make the money. Better in a positive way to make the money. We didn't have to go out, rob and kill. We didn't have to do none of that. So, the youth crime prevention program is in the house in full effect. You know. Your legacy, you know, would not be forgotten. Would not ever be forgotten. You know, he put his life on the line for us for a long, long, long time. You know, we stayed in Compton, California, where it was just murder, 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 murder. You know, everyone fighting, right hand fighting against the left. You know, so, you know, he did a good good work and um, love, send my love out to the Selene family and everybody out there all my family, you know yeah, you know, he put a lot of work in and it's time for us, you know, to come together and, you know, keep it going, make it happen his destiny number was um, I finally did it, you know my boy gave me the um he gave me his pop's phone because his, his, I was doing thousands and thousands of people. I was just doing a numerology, left and right, left and right, just doing people's numerology, right? And he finally gave me pop's birthday after all that time. I mean, it was for a while, man, because I asked him, I said, hey, man, how long you been hiding the birthday from me, man? He was like, about six months. I was like, what the? <laughs> Why you didn't tell me, dog? You know I'm searching for number nines. I'm looking for the destiny number nine. I'm looking for all my people trying to make a change in this world. Because the first option is to link up with those who are, who are just like you. Who share that vibration. You know, those who see life and you say something ain't right. This ain't right. I don't think we should live like this. I'm looking for those, you know. And I did his birthday and he ended up being, you know. Yeah, he was number nine destiny. Just like my great great grandmama, rest in peace, Alma Hayes. She was a number nine destiny. You know? So, you know, it's time to come together. But remember, the number nine destiny, you know, it's just the numerology knows who you are. Deep down inside yourself, the numerology knows who you are. You know, you've been watched. So, it's up for us to put this world back in a better place. We no, we no longer should have to live off of um, how angry people get just to charge our lights up inside. What I'm showing you 
on this walk, on this path, on this odyssey, that you can charge your own lights up. Men withheld from sex for a whole month. Don't have sex for a whole month. There's a light inside you that charges up by itself. It's charged up by the birds, the dogs, all the animals who pump pure light into you. It would charge itself up and it would rise to gag, which is in your head. From Santos Bonanche. If you get a chance, go look at some of his videos. He's an Aries. You know, so he's kicking knowledge. He's there. He was born in Gad, in the head. So, and women, I'm not sure how that goes, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, there's ways for... I'm thinking, if I'm not mistaken, I'm thinking it happens both. If women withstand from sex for a whole month, a seed charges up within them too. We have to, we have to stop depleting our energy, you know, because that's not the way it was in the beginning. When you are with your mate, when you are with your loved one, you guys uh, charge up with each other's by conversation. By she making a joke or you making a joke, y'all charge up with that type of energy. By you loving your female, your queen, you, you loving the way she does, the way she does, the who she is. You love who she is. You love the way she think. You love the way she dance. You love the way she smile. You love the way her glance, her gaze. Those things charges your energy up. Not when she's sad. Because the system noticed that they get more energy. I'm not sure if recessive don't have no light or something. I'm not sure if they don't have a song. I don't know about that. But from what they're showing, it seems though they don't have a light. They don't have soul. That's what it seems to me. You know, I'm just learning. I'm sitting here. I'm on my odyssey and I'm learning what's going on on the planet and seeing what I can do to uplift the humanity and uplift the planet back to where it's supposed to be. Because in my heart, it hurts me that the Chinaman calls the Chinaman a Chinese. The Japan calls the Japan a Japanese. Blacks call themselves blacks. Whites call it hurts my heart. You know? When we all should just be galactic beings. What are you? I'm a galactic being. What are you? Why are you looking at the skin of a galactic being? When if you strip down the skin, you strip down the bone, you strip down the flesh, you strip down the blood, there's going to be a light there. You're supposed to respect each other's light. Not what they look like. But they have found a way to attach a person's history to a person's life. When a person's history was confused, was destroyed, they were stolen from their homeland, their language was stolen from them, and they was given a whole new language that was already modified and structured to fit a certain group of people who created that particular language. And they gave it to you. They already knew what the verbs are, ah, ooh, e, ah, ooh, what the nouns do. You know, there's a dead language and there's a live language. If you listen to Aramaic or language of that sort, you'll see how it works the throat chakra. It works your throat chakra. So the sounds of vibration in these things does things. Like, for instance, uh, let me see what I can do. Let me see. This is. These are the books that I feel. This is called the Destiny Books. Destiny Books Secrets by. So if y'all get a chance, go get these books because these books are going to bring us back together and these books are going to show us how to make love properly to our queen. They're going to show you how it's done. How to create life properly. This one. And then, you know, this is, as you can see on the bottom right here, Shambhala. You see that? Shambhala. That's why I call myself a Shambhala warrior. And all my other Shambhala warriors, go get this book. This is volume one. I'm looking for volume two right now. And I'm kind of upset that you know, my book is falling apart, but 
I will go buy 20 more of these books. You ain't got to worry about that. As soon as they can get me in, well, I'm going to get 20 of these books. I'll make sure I read this book 30 times, 40, 50, whatever it takes this book to become connected to my light. Like I know my name. What's your name? I'm here. Like I know my name. I want to know this book. Lao Tao Tzu, Zhu, Chung Tzu, Zhu, Wen Tzu, Zhu, The Book of Leadership and Strategy, Sex, Health, and Long Life. Get it. It's time to upgrade our brains. These are computers up here. A brain can hold as much information and knowledge as a library. Library, Alexander, it can much, as much information. It can hold it. There's no problem. It can hold it. Oh. Oh, y'all, this is part two. I just pressed record because the other video stopped. So this is part two, October the 20th. Um, shit, look at the time. Oh yeah. I wanted to tell y'all too. As you can see the um you can see the difference in my voice. You can see the difference in my appearance. You can see the difference as I come down and you know I don't know if I'm gonna go in my light body, but I'm kinda in it now, but not in the way that I'm supposed to be in it. Because I'm still waiting. You know, I'm waiting for y'all to catch on and grab on to Start coming out here working out and jogging and getting y'all stuff together too because I don't want to go into my light body before um, before y'all. I'm trying to do this as a collective. So you can see how the difference between how I am now and go look at the other videos when I was, you know, taking in all light, you know. I was chief and I was getting it in. So I was taking in all light from all spirits. And you can see the different spirits working through me. So now, in the five, it sounds more differently. And I'm in the five. So it sounds more differently. If you notice Holly Selassie, I, you see his hands like this all the time? When he come around a crowd of people, he's like this. Because you want the information to get to your light. You want to program your light with the information. So if anything was to happen to you or you were supposed to be swayed left or right by any type of any information that somebody was trying to um, manipulate you. You can't manipulate your light if your light knows the information. So, moving back on, let me get to what I was going to read to you. If I can find it real quick. This book is an awesome book. That's all I'm going to tell you. I don't know when it was printed or when the print date is. Let me see if I can find the production date when they made this book. I don't know if it's in the front or the back. Um, oh, shoot. Maybe in the front. I'm guessing they put that information in the front. And this was way back in the days from the library. Wow, that's my old address, 16709 South Harris Compton, California, 3106082216. That's <laughs> the phone number, 90221, baby. So obviously this came from the library and never went back. 
So I'm pretty sure it's still in print. This was printed in, um, it says 1989. So this, no, this book was first published in 1979, right after I was born in 1978. So the first published and printed this book, 1979. So y'all go get it if you can get it. But if you can't, you know, let me know and if I got to, I print this whole book off and make copies and then send you the copies of the book. You know, whatever we got to do to get this knowledge. This is an information race. This is a race for information. So you don't want your mind to be into uh, my kings. Only thing you're focusing on right now is finding your soulmate, which means it's someone with the. Uh, it's not just. It's more of a planetary thing. It's an energy thing. You can feel her energy through the gaze because you'll see your queen and you look in her eyes and she look in your eyes and it's a gaze. When y'all fall in love through the gaze, it's, then it's, it's information. You know what I mean? She's the part of you, but the numerology guru will get you close. Everyone that I was linked to and then I did the, the uh, numerology gurus, the numbers and stuff to the people on Facebook and everyone that I've seen was like, oh, she goodness and i did her numerology matched up perfect she had nine 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 all the way down and i was like oh my goodness how is that how is it i like her outer shape and everything her look and the numerology matches up what kind of shit is that so it's deep we got some science to get into but i don't really know No, you eat fish. No, I'm kind of off of it right now. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm fresh caught right now. No. All right. Thanks, though. All right. Yeah, man, I don't gotta stay away from the fish too. I've been off the fish too. You know, I'm going raw vegan right now. It's just uh. Beans. Dow. Thirteen bean soup. So I'm letting off on all the flesh period because flesh is flesh, you know. We are not meant to eat flesh. We're meant to eat the fruits and vegetables of the garden. That's it. That's the only thing that's going to keep you in your life. And then you got the flour and the bread and shit. You know, that keeps you at a certain size if you want to eat a little bread. But my um, kings, back to what I was saying. Kings, get your queens. Queens, get your kings. Get together. Because united the force between a male and, the, and you. Are, see, one is active and one is passive. You know what I mean? You must have your queen, you know. And right now, you know, me personally, well, actually, it's time to bring the melanin back. So if you go and you watch the movie The 500 Nations by Kevin Costner, if you go watch that movie 500 Nations by Kevin Costner, you will see that first they were my complexion. And some much darker. But they never showed those Indians. They only showed the ones that was lighter. And then by the end of the movie, they showed the ancestors of, from the raping. From people pouring milk into what was coffee. And it brought it all the way down to a passive understanding. And my understanding is the darker the melanin, the more you have a connection with the triple blackness that's up in the sky where we come from so all we have to do the chocolate is in it's all around you it's in Africa it's everywhere so you go and you get to the darkest one and you start having your babies so if you're a light skinned female you go get you a dark dark man you feel me match up the numerology so you know you get the right person and you get you a dark, dark man. For my light-skinned brothers, you go get you a dark, dark woman. 
You feel me? It's nothing it has nothing to do with racism or color or anything like that. It has something to do with the truth. Which has been heightened, which has been disrupted. It's something going on with the color. It doesn't take a genius to figure it out. How Michael Jordan flies through the sky. How Shaq is so tall. How he can do this. It doesn't take a genius to figure it out. That is something about that melanin. So we must stick to our roots and bring it back. So you get darker and darker and darker. And you start to come like that. All day long. But I can't seem to find it. I think it got something to do with. Um... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Here it is right here. So I want you to look at this. right? I want you to look at that. Right? You're looking at it. Pause it. Look at it. Get it. Right? And now. I want you to go to where it says seed of the sound and listen to your voice. Watch. Hang. Yang. Rang. Vang. Lang. Now each one of these hit a different chakra in your body. You feel it when you say it. Hang. It's up here. Rang. Right here. Wait, wait. Yang. Right here. Rang. Right here around the heart chakra. Vang. Right here in your stomach. Lang. In your butt. You feel it? So this is the science that we must come back to. Because it was your science in the beginning. It was just diluted. That's all. You can be... Melanated, get all the way back to where you're supposed to be, purple, black, and you still are going to have the same energy. But it's going to be ten times more. Ten times more. So you'll take the energy from the Hindus. You'll take the energy from the... It's all yours. you take the wisdom from the Chinese. you take the wisdom from the Hindus. you take the wisdom from the Muslim. you take the wisdom from this. you take the wisdom... But you will leave the religion. Leave it. Take the wisdom. We are galactic beings. Africa is not just for a certain group of people. The whole world is yours. From North Pole to South Pole is yours. It's your birthright. It's yours. When God talked to one, he talked to all. Our job is to clean the waters, make the waters clear blue all around the world. Get rid of these motor vehicles, get rid of these cars, get our electric vehicle cars. And I want to show you something while I'm talking about this. I want to show you this air compressed car. Let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can boot it up. I only got 23 minutes. I'm going to see if I can do multitask and try to get it ready so you can see these air cars and how they didn't want this guy who put this car together. They didn't want um, no one to... Uh, well, let me see. Hold up.
multitask because I want to show y'all so much. I got so much information up in this noggin. I'm trying to give it to you in certain. We'll see if this comes on and I'll show you what it looks like and everything. But then I wanted to tell y'all the kings and stuff like that. There's a place in this book that shows you that when you have in, um making love to your, your queen, right? You go in like six six breaths, like halfway though. You just uh 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 and then you go deep, nine breaths. Mm, 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 right? And then there's a certain way that once it arises up in yourself, you stop. You don't let the um ejaculation come out. You hold it. You know? And when you hold it, it heals everything in your body. It eliminates all diseases out of your body. So it's a lot of stuff we're going to get into. And I want my brothers and sisters to come together. So what the hell is going on here? Oh, touch the damn thing, man. Act like it don't want to play. I've never seen nothing like this before. Okay, let me show you this real quick. It has only three wheels, two doors, and doesn't even have a steering wheel. But its creators think this could be the future of urban transportation. Okay, so this is the airport and I've just ran it for a while and uh, as you've seen it's very agile and you can see there's no driving wheel, just a joystick and it's very comfortable because you are like in a seat, just driving in the city. Watch what he say at the end though. Around you because you are seeing everywhere and uh, it's a real new way to drive into the city. The main advantage of course is that it's no polluting cars. Uh, you're running for free emission without emissions and um, then after it's also the cost because uh, it's very cheap to use and cheap to buy. The world's approximately 600 million passenger cars burn more than 1 billion cubic meters of fuel every year. But father son team Cyril and Guy Neg think they have come up with a solution at their lab in Nice in the south of France. Which is very special about the airport is the energy we use. We use compressed air to drive it. This is a very clean system, a very economical system, and uh, the airport is very adapted to the city. The compressed air engine works uh, very simply. Uh, it is uh, just using the air we just compressed into a tank, and then we use this compressed air to move some pistons into the engine that drives directly the crankshaft, goes to the wheel, and the movement drives the car. The idea of powering a vehicle using air is not new. Compressed air systems have been used to power trams in France since the late 19th century. In the early 20th century, an Anglo-American company produced a car they claimed could run 100 miles on liquid air. And yet none of these has been a commercial success. Watch what they the tell you why it hasn't been a commercial, engines, commercial success. Similar emissions to electric cars. But its manufacturers argue that compressed air is a superior technology. It has some emissions if you compress it using electricity, of course, because using electricity you will have some emissions at the point where you produce the electricity. But mainly this kind of system is typically adapted to use renewable energy to compress the air. If you use a wind turbine to compress the air, then the emission will be quite zero. There is air everywhere. We know that today to drive a car... Well, my thing's going to cut off, so let me see if I can skip to the back. And, so you can uh, kind of see what you're talking this, about. There is a very amazed looking this car, which is so strange. They, they were very impressed by the car, yes. The electric car, but uh, they, they were very listen, impressed by... Listen, listen. <laughs> you don't want to produce an electric car, an electric car but uh, they, they were very impressed by the car, yes. At the beginning, they were thinking that we were full. But, but uh, now I think that they've changed their mind and we can feel a lot of pressure containing this car because uh, it is a car that uh, disturbs a lot of uh, big companies. It disturbed a lot of big companies. This uh, disturbed a lot of uh, big companies. Uh, big companies.
car that uh, disturbed a lot of uh, big companies. And that's what I want to show y'all right there. I had to do it like that because I'm at 31 minutes right now. My thing usually cuts off at about uh, usually cuts out at about 32 minutes. But uh, peace, love, and light when it cut out. But y'all know me; I'm gonna talk it out. Find this book, get this book. Find this book, get this book. And this one right here is just to uh, do the research on yourself. This is the program. This is showing you about the Babylonian program being put on you. So learn what they think about you and change what they say about you. Learn every sign. Take everything positive out of every sign and leave the negative. Eat the fish and spit out the bones. You know? Take all of that stuff in there, right? And then put it inside of your mind and then you become the 13th sign because you'll become all signs will be you it's only information not who they say you are you who they're programming you to be you're not who they say you are excuse me okay you're who they're programming you to be they're trying to program you to be a certain way to control your mind and who you are Check. Like my brother Valentine say, check. We're moving to a different dimension, people, a dimension of information and knowledge. We're in the information age right now where things is moving rapidly. So I want y'all to focus on unity. I want y'all to focus on getting you a laptop, Mac, Apple Book Pro. Make sure you got your computer. I want you to focus on studying and studying and studying. I want you to focus on your health. I want you to mainly really focus on getting you some teas. Make sure you're drinking tea every day. Get off of everything. Make sure your tea is made with pH balance, uh, nine water, alkaline water. Focus on getting you a keg and water machine. Focus on getting all the survival things that you need. Focus on getting you a generator. Those who don't have children, focus on getting you a mobile home. You know what I mean? So you can be mobile, so you can be able to meet up with different family members when we go to different sites and do our fire dances around the fire. Focus on unity. Focus on survival. Focus on your health. Those with the strongest health, with the strongest light, shall surpass everyone else. Those with the weak lights will suck from the strong, but the strong, if strong enough, can supply the weak with energy which really you're supplying them with 